One of the reasons why scientists are struggling to find a treatment against COVID-19 is because of how much we still don't know about the virus itself. We don't know why it's benign in certain situations and why it's fatal in others. Uh, we know that obesity and uh, age can contribute to developing a severe case of COVID-19, but we don't know the actual underlying reason. Is it because elderly people have a weaker immune system or is it because uh, perhaps a person has been exposed to a higher concentration of the virus? Also, we don't know of people who have been infected by COVID-19 have the antibodies and are now immune to it. And there's also a wide array of, um, of symptoms for COVID-19. So it can affect the lungs, but we also know now that, can it, that in certain situations, it can affect the brain and the kidneys of certain patients. And we need answers to those questions to be able to know which are the treatments on which we should bet today. Now, there are about 500 clinical trials that have been launched worldwide. In Europe, you may have heard about the Discovery Clinical Trial which is trying to show uh, the efficiency of antiretroviral drugs, but it's taking time because COVID-19 evolves slowly in time. And so you need to wait for patients to get to a certain stage to be able to really analyze and draw conclusions from their data. You may have also heard about uh, injecting the blood of a sandworm that ha actually has been taken off the market here in France because a non-clinical trial has shown a 100% mortality rate on animals uh, who were injected with that substance. Now, you may also have heard about blood plasma transfusion. It's actually a technique that's been used since the 19th century. And it's all about transferring the blood of someone who has the antibodies against COVID-19 to someone has not, that has not been yet infected with it. And uh, that's actually a technique that's used while waiting for a vaccine uh, to be developed. And that's the biggest question. When will we see a vaccine hit the market? We're hearing everything from September to uh, somewhere within the, ne the next 18 months. Uh, France, the Institut Pasteur, has developed a vaccine, is about to start testing it this spring, but we still have no idea when we'll see a vaccine. And I think uh, we can really ask ourselves today, are we injecting enough money in research? It's a legitimate question. Another legitimate question is whether uh, the international community has coordinated research well well enough for it to be effective today. Last but not least, many people may think that uh, the uh, research is taking time, but in the great scheme of things, science and scientists have never evolved so quickly, have never discovered so many things in such a short period of time.